Greetings all, brightest solstice blessings, Gemini. I have a special reading planned for you guys today. I hope you guys are celebrating your winter solstice or Christmas holiday in whatever way your family does and you're having a good time. Your first card that came out is the Spirit Guardian of Winter Retreat. After all the holiday hustle and bustle, making sure everything is taken care of, getting the presents, cooking the food, the yada yada yada, you might need a retreat. Taking some time for yourself after doing so much for other people is as important as taking care of the other people because you are just as important. And I feel like a lot of us put ourselves on the back burner, myself included, when it comes to taking care of the people that we love because we want to see the weight and burden taken off of them and we inadvertently put that all on ourselves. You have the Wizards of the Woods. Focus. Focus this next year, this next time, on what you want to do for yourself. What is something that you want to do purely for you? What flipped over right here? You have the Forest Temple, Enlightenment. I love that. Coming in with the Wizard of the Woods with focus, spending some time in the woods, taking a retreat to a cabin out in the forest in the Appalachian Mountains, Rocky Mountains, if you're lucky enough to be able to do something like that, it might be very beneficial for you because when everything gets quiet and you can really just process things that are going on with you, things become a lot easier to understand. I wanted to get a message from your shadow as well because tonight, being the winter solstice, is the longest night. It is the longest period of darkness we have during an entire year. So I wanted to get a message from your shadow as things will start lightening up afterwards. And this states, I am different now. And maybe that is why you need to retreat. Because you are different from the people who you had surrounded yourself with for a very long time. Or there was someone you didn't really want to see, but they have done work and that they are different now. Are you willing to give them a second chance? Or are you just going to say, no, I have to protect myself for me. And that would make sense with why you would need to retreat and go and take care of yourself. Because there's all this new information that you need to process. I understand, my love, and if that is something that you need to do, go and do it. Because your peace, safety, and mind state of mind are so important to you. We have the charms and my dice in the bowl here. One of the dice wanted to come out. Okay, we have uh, sun energy going on for you here. You have possibilities with the gumball machine infinite possibilities actually you have infinite possibilities things to enjoy with the monkey swinging from the rope and the support of your ancestors coming in right now sorry my love i really needed a drink of water the the enlightenment that you might be experiencing might be coming from your ancestors and doing the quiet meditation oh maybe that's who's different now if you've lost someone this year i am sorry to say this but this is very true if you have lost someone this year and it was someone that you had a sort of rocky relationship with, their energy might be reaching out to you because the soul is split from the ego. Who that ego was that may have hurt you, caused you trauma, mistrust, harm, or in general was an asshole to you, their soul is different now because they're not attached to that same ego. And they might be wanting to reach out to you because now they are on your spirit team they might be wanting to reach out to you so that they have a message, they have some guidance for you now that they are with spirit, now that they are with God, the source realms. And if that is the case, take as much time as you need to process that, my love, because I can't speak for anyone but my own experience. But my grandmother, when she was here, was not the nicest woman to my mother. I hardly knew her because of how cruel cool she was to my mother. And I had a lot of resentment towards her energy in general. When she passed, I'd say probably about five years ago now, when she passed, it took a long time, but we did eventually forgive her. And now she is a very important part of our spirit team and an energy that we call upon. And so I feel like there is someone on the other side that may have support, a message or guidance for you but they can't come through because of your emotional attachment to that person's ego and who they were here. Understand that they are different now, my love. 
of course that causes a lot of uncertainty because I mean how much can someone really change if they did that to you well understand that when a soul is here they're in the realm of free will and the energies that they keep influence their behaviors and not all of it is good energy because it's not one that being aware and conscious of the energy that you're bringing into your everyday life is not something that we are taught it is something that is suppressed rejected seen as occultism or witchcraft simply because you're aware of the energies that people associate themselves with but there is well a sense of gratitude that comes that comes with that pedum and that freeze pedum freedom and that peace of course there is uncertainty there will always be uncertainty but look where it's leading you you're out here in the thicket of the thorns where is it leading you to enlightenment you will be all right my love take the retreat if you need to have gratitude for the work that you've done the person that you've become this year i guarantee you if you go look back on this year and who you were at the beginning of the year and see all the work that you have done you'll see how much you have grown you'll see how much you have developed and give yourself some gratitude for that because you've done so much work my love and I do believe that it has a lot to do with your ego because we have the sun that came out here. And the sun is represented by the ego, the part of ourselves that we consciously put out there for others to see because that is what we feel safe with. Focus on what you want to have in this next year. Bring the, the change you want to bring about in yourself or in your everyday life and call upon your spirit teams because they are always willing and ready to help you, my love. Have a beautiful day and brightest blessings of the solstice.